In this episode of Camo Chair Productions, we're exploring the Appalachian Mountains of Western Maryland. The habitat here includes rocky slopes, mountain seeps, and swampy bogs. We're hoping to find a good variety of herps out here today, so let's get to it and let's get herping. We're in this creek and we just flipped this northern red salamander. They come in a wide variety of colors. As you can see, this one's a little orange, which I've never seen before. It's kind of neat. And we're going to go ahead and look, see if we can't find a much brighter red one. He's getting away. Oh, there he is. It's a really pretty one. I had a lot of trouble catching this one. There you go. A, yeah, that's a really pretty red. There's a juvenile one under there too. Yeah, let's see that red. Hold him out for me. I'd like to have a look at that red. Oh, there's a couple under juvenile there. ones under there. Yeah. Wow, that is a nice one. Red too. Nice find, Matt. All right, we were just walking along this creek here, and we found this wood turtle. He's just swimming along in the bottom of the creek. And this is the first wood turtle I've ever had my hands on in the wild. So I'm actually really excited about this. And he's a very pretty turtle, real orangish in color. And we took a few photos and we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. But before we do, I wanna give you a little close up of how pretty this guy can be. Real orangish, really neat looking pretty turtle. Queen! Usually we find northern waters like this. Yeah. Not queen, queen snakes here. all over the place. A lot of queen snakes. All right, I just flipped a log here and found a mountain earth snake. This is a really cool little snake, and here in Maryland is actually considered a state endangered species. So I've already taken a few pictures of this small snake to submit to the Maryland Amphibian Reptile Atlas Project. And since I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and let this guy go, right back where I found him. Currently, the state of Maryland is looking for people to volunteer their time to herp. The Maryland Amphibian Reptile Atlas Project, or MARA for short, is an ongoing survey of Maryland's reptiles and amphibians. The project is ongoing till 2014, so be sure to get involved, contact your local county coordinator, or look them up online so you can volunteer your time to help better preserve and protect Maryland's herptofauna. Hurry up, chop chop. First black case I've ever seen. Okay. Can you grab my camera, Sean, please? Your <laughs> tongue is black. I think I've never seen a black face before. He's gonna disappear on us. He's gonna come right from my feet. I can't put my hand under there. Oh, he just can't go him. anywhere. <laughs> yeah, just grab him. <laughs> Ready to go. He's, he's in the, in the he's tall shit. Which makes me not want to go up here now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Just walk behind me. No snake boots. Look at that, Sean. All right, coming up this nice warm hill, we've already seen one black phase timber, and uh, Matt just found this cute little eastern milk snake. So we're gonna keep our hike up and see what else we can find out here today. Okay. You see how big a northern red belly snake can be? Right, this is a northern red belly snake. Um, you can see where it gets its name from, from that brilliant red belly there. 
It's a really neat little snake. They're mostly fossorial, usually found under cover objects. I just flipped this one under a rock right over here. I'd be willing to bet five dollars that there's a timber rattlesnake in this rock pile right here. This is a good indicator that you'd be by a rattlesnake den finding a rattlesnake shed left out in the open. What? You can't find the other tailpiece. All right, we got two big uh, timber rattlesnakes right under this rock over here. There's a yellow phase and what uh, looks like a black phase. So why don't you come on over here and check them out. That's how I like to find my timber rattlesnakes, just doing what they so do. Out enough so you can get a picture? Oh, I don't think the flashlight's going to pick it up. Uh -oh. It's coming out. <laughs> oh, boy. That one's really pretty. Get your camera out. What God, it's doing? huge. I know, that's Isn't a big it one. Uh -huh. right it's probably a gravid female. Here. Uh-oh, too close. I think that one's the girl. Well, it's bigger, aren't the tail was, really Its tail was really short, so... I'm pretty sure that one's the girl. Awesome. Does anybody have a flashlight that they can shine on there? No. Well, there's there's two more on this side. big shed on this side. The yellow one's not even a phase. It's not moving at all. Oh, well, there's a shed back here, too. They're That's probably kind of denning under this them. rock. Huh? They're denning under this yeah, rock. this is a den. That's a big black one. for sure, because the shed is right there. Well, we did find a lot of really cool reptiles and amphibians out here in Western Maryland on this trip. There are a few species that I still would have liked to have seen and it'll probably bring us back out here soon to see if we can find them. Until then, stay tuned for more videos on camoterraproductions.com.